77 and a half million kilometers to home. Alright, we are on Mars. Panel cleanup, satellite maintenance. Uh huh. Hmm. It's very dark here. Wakey, wakey. I think we have work to do. Sounded wet. Look at I don't know what sort of hallucinations you can get from being isolated in a place like this, but pretty sure I saw a shape of a man. Power cord chewed. Chewed? Uh, is one of your specimens loose? What? We captured something here? That is, isn't this supposed to be Mars? Private cabin. I guess there is life on Mars then in that case. This is all... Alright. Eww. Ah, the outside. Yes, oh, something is uh, most definitely loose. Yeah, oh, wow. I wonder if any of this is acidic or something. It's gonna. Oh, wow, holy damn. If, if contact with the thing is gonna be bad for the. Oh, 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 Jesus, what happened here? Okay, you are broken. Where is everyone? <gasps> oh. Slimy stuff or ghosts? I don't know what it looked like. Oh, someone hiding in here? Ugh. Crowbar. I guess this couldn't come in handy right now. Yes, did something grow out of those tentacles? Maybe this can help me open the one door, but I want to have a uh, look over here, although I probably shouldn't. No, this is just locked. Sounds like something is moving inside the gooey mess, but I guess it's just a gooey mess pulsating. Okay, mud. Okay, I'm I'm going to go to this broken door, see if I can repair this. No, well, not repair, but pry it open, basically. <laughs> Okay. Oh, these are some very harsh, airtight doors, but we need this on uh, different planets. This symbol again. Painted in 
what reminds me of blood. Although most likely it isn't. It's probably it's some sort of weird dirt. Come, Ooh. blow out the candle. Come and blow out the candle. Is that my hallucinations again? Check the readings, but that may have been our biggest quake yet. <sighs> Standard procedure. Newhart, you know what to do. If there's any critical damage to the base, let me know. Yeah, okay, uh, no problem. Dr. Van Buren, you will assist me at the landing site for the Cyrano. Declan, you're on comms. Find any system issues, relay them to Shane. Aye, aye, Captain. Switch to a private frequency, Declan. No chatter on open channels. Over and out. Private channel time. Stupid nightmare. Whew. That was intense. And what better way to start the day than assessing possible life-threatening damage from minor seismic activity? Hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> That's what I've been told. So are earthquakes. Now, where did I put that ID card? Hmm. ID card, ID card. Where would I put an ID card? In here, maybe? Yes. Oh! Good luck out there, sport. Dad. Aw. <laughs> Alright. The Orochi Group, level 1. Also written in Mandarin or otherwise Chinese letters. East Asian letters. Uh, yeah. Where's the card reader here? Damn it. What was <laughs> that code? Um, personal code. There, that. No, this is. Well, let's read this while we have this here. Dear Dad, I have a confession I want to tell you. Hey there, <laughs> it's trying to. All right. Oh, okay. Well, I want to read like this. I've always rewritten this letter, re rewritten this letter six times. I'll probably rewrite it several more. I have a lot of time before I can actually send it to you. No excuse my inability to read. I just woke up here. <laughs> You deserve to. I mean, I'll put it in plain. I'm not in Antarc Antarctica. That expedition doesn't exist. Or if it does, I'm not on it. I went a little bit further. I went to Mars. Okay, so it is Mars. Okay, I, I don't really research the experiences much before I jump into them, you see. I know it's horror, that's it. Keeping it as fresh as possible. I hope you can uh, forgive me. What was, what was the deadline out there? Forgive me. The deception is not a slight. <laughs> yeah. The company takes their secrecy very seriously. In fact, you will already probably have seen me again. In person. Before I am allowed to send this to you. I want you to hear it from me. I want you to know I love you. What I really want to tell you. Yeah, it's hard to put it on... Put it in words, I suppose. We didn't finish this. So what do we want to tell them? Hmm? Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. To do turn off sprinkles oxygen oxygen generator. What's an oxygen? Uh, I thought oxygen. <laughs> oxygen generator. Diagnostics. Tune bio gate bio gauge. Oh, <laughs> the blue, the blue planet, commonly known as Earth. Terra, Terra, isn't Terra also a word for it? Telus, many words for Earth. Yulda in Norwegian. Okay, I'm rambling. 
I'm a rambling waking up mess. ID. ID, do we have the ID tag on the clothes and hoe? Uh, let's have a look here again. Productive day, huh? Personal code. With the personal code, it would have to be... I assume I can pick my own code. Maybe... Yeah, maybe the birthday. 0509. That's a typical personal code. 0509. Damn it. What was that code? 0509. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> it was. Shane Newhart, engineer. Security level 1. All personnel, please be aware of the new security update that's taking place tomorrow. You might be stuck in your room for a while. Write down the code somewhere, so you'll remember it. New security update, okay. Uh, yeah. Good morning there, sport. Wilcox has, uh, was kind enough to let you sleep in a little today. Yeah, and have my nightmare. Is this, is this today? But it also means that Dr. Van Buren is uh, uh, lagging, or no, tagging along on an EVA to the Cyrano landing site. So I'll put a pin on logging the issue with command until he's back. I know Lucas has been tinkering with some of the bio gauge code, so check with him first. Plus, you'll have a chance to catch up with the doctor. Make, sm make some small talk. And this is ours, I guess. Uh, can't find anything listed for troubleshooting the solo arrays coding. All right. Uh, there has been an update to your comprehensive NDA. I, I read DNA for some reason. <laughs> Please log in at your earliest convenience. This is only a courtesy. All changes have already gone into effect. Best regards, head of HR. The rule of two is an exciting concept. When we discover one example of a phenomenon in the cosmos, it is an anomaly. Given the vastness of the universe, if two examples are found, it implies there are many more millions, billions, trillions. And I guess that's a very good hypothesis. As of now, we are only certain of life on Earth, an anomaly. But all we have to do is find a second. Any life will do. Even primitive alien microbes. Even fossils or microbial life billions of years dead. That one finding will open up a universe teeming with life. All we have to do is to get two. In addition to ours, I guess. Uh, unlock okay. the... Oh, Confirming my ID bypassed security for my room. Oh, that was unlocked lock. now. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, unlocking through the computer system. Uh, but yeah, there was, there was water on Mars, like rests of water, wasn't it, on Mars? So, where there's water, there's possibly life at one point to have existed. Well, the rest of the team's out dusting the landing pad. Dr. Bokolva is apparently deep into her biocultivation duties. So, I guess that means you have the base all to yourself. And where are you? Once more, I venture into the great unknown. <laughs> on duty at the satellite dish. And currently communicating, which is technically my job. Kind of. Is that the Earth over there? You know, for the longest of time, I always thought that Mars was closer to the sun than Earth. And then it turns out that uh, Mars was the next planet towards the outer solar system after Earth. Is this what we came here with? <laughs> <laughs> well, judging by the picture and all, I guess we always wanted to become an astronaut. <laughs> Oh, oh it's one way to... <laughs> well. 
I'm sorry, micro crew. <laughs> no, that's not gonna be something that can be compared to what's gonna happen. Power cord chewed. Uh, same. So the, the dream was very detailed, but I guess it's been like this for a while, so that our memory can, or our main mind can take it in. All right, this is locked. This is locked. Let's have a look at the outdoors in the light. Oh yes, that's wonderful. Not much to see right here, but you can see some of the ground, the Mars ground, the sandy ground. A note with an explanation mark. Security protocols. Greetings, crewmate. As a member of the Invictus team and an employee of Manticore Orochi, there are security protocols that you must not fail to obey. Orochi, wasn't that wasn't that the name of the antagonist of um, Okami? I'm pretty sure that was the antagonist of, or, uh, of Okami. I might be wrong. There are security protocols that you must not fail to obey. Any Orochi facility, including this Mars base, is sectioned by security clearance. Not every employee may go into every section. Ah. Your ID card contains a number denoting your level of security clearance. Well, we only had security clearance one. I guess we can't really go very far despite being an engineer. Your ID card is necessary to access all doors, sectors, and computers of a given level of security clearance. Do not attempt to access areas or equipment beyond your security clearance. Do not attempt to coerce teammates to give you access to their security clearance. <laughs> Do not enter any credit card information in this chat. <laughs> Do not give teammates of lower security clearance access to out-of-bounds areas and equipment. Do immediately report any irregularities or breaks in security protocol to this email address. Orochigroup.com Given the nature of the work at Manticore and Orochi, these protocols are in place to protect you from catastrophic mishaps and mishaps and consequences. If you are unsure of your clearance or of these protocols, please contact your supervisor. Uh, your su superior. <laughs> Thank you for your physicians. Uh, vigilance, Orochi. Yeah, alright. Hmm? Oh, that, that's just a spaceship. <laughs> the rockets. I suppose the rocket would came around, possibly. Which we saw in our dream. Hmm. Quick door. Oh! What the hell? Hey! What's up with the lights? Uh, yeah, getting some odd spikes in power as the batteries kick in. Hey, you, you just hang tight while I do your job for you, okay? No, I'll have a coffee. No, really, take take a load off. No wonder that... that we have dreams of this and nightmares. If this is a consistent thing, I guess you can easily panic on a different planet so far away from society. General society. Uh, I don't know how gravity is on Mars. If you're in a spaceship in zero gravity, you need training equipment to build your muscles or so because you can't withstand you do not withstand gravity. You your muscles will degrade. And you, so you have to maintain you. Maybe the I guess the gravity is quite a bit lower here on Mars, so this is equally important. It's not as easy to go for just walks in order to stay fit there, I guess. Kitchen what Who is this? Put up this sticky note about the witch. You like my drawing? I made it last night. Hmm. Do I like poking fun at a shared paranoid delusion while everyone is tired and isolated from human contact on Mars? Okay, killer. Remind me not to talk to you before you've had your coffee. <laughs> God, I'm with the wrong foot, I guess. No, um... So, so as I was saying earlier as well, like, isolation is so, a, a sort of cabin fever, I suppose. Like in The Shining. Far away from society, you can't exactly do as you please. You can't go. This space looks big, but you can't really do as you please and all. Um, humans aren't made for Mars. So the witch. If you don't get any coffee, blame the witch. Hmm. So it sounded like more people saw like a weird creature they decided to call the witch. 
That's some dark coffee. I prefer some energy drinks, but here we go. Oh yeah, thirsty, aren't you? <laughs> We're not gonna clean this, okay. Hmm. Cow on dark roast coffee, what? Hmm. Alright, what do we have here? Uh, oh. can you check your bio gauge and see if your daily objectives have been updated? Copy that. Well, what should I eat today? Oh. Crap! What's up? I, uh, I seem to have misplaced my bio gauge. Josie saw it in the lab on her way out. Told me to tell you. Better get it before you do anything else. Speaking okay. of which, that should do it. I fixed the lounge door to the lab. Oh, thank you. Mmm. Savory oatmeal, bacon and eggs. Oh, and just bake together. Because simplicity in a place like this. Uh, I like bacons, but I don't like eggs. Okay, savory oatmeal it is. Savory oatmeal looks good. Nom. Oh, let's have some bacon in next as well. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> On pain of death, do your dishes. We read out loud of putting our cup of coffee that we just drank. Okay, what if we just... No, we can't. We have to put it back in. Lazy character, what do we have here? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. Being used to Earth, seeing this. <sighs> okay, chess. Uh, it has Orochi letterhead, so it's official. Replacement photo ID pictures for your approval. Commander Wilcox, management. You clean up pretty nice. Uh, Della, what? Oops. You clean up pretty nice, Della Poor. Approved. Hmm. Right though. Research lab, an infirmary and greenhouse. Well, we are on our way to our research lab to pick up this thing imaging on the on the wrist. It's nice that everything is is just noted down like this. Where it sound? Oh, uh huh. Ah, oh, it's probably just the door being so weird. Deja vu. Deja vu, yeah. Like in a there dream. A stuck door in the dream I had. It's not yeah. important. It's, it's just weird. But it's, it's... Uh, you're forgetting the last three times something malfunctioned in this over-engineered campsite. Yeah, but it doesn't feel nice that there's a sound and red flickering lights at the same time. I don't like that. And also it was this other door over here which had this malfunctioning. Alright, let's... Oh, there's the crowbar as well. Quite the deja vu. I'm starting getting a very bad feeling about this. That is not just a dream, maybe it's a premonition. Like in like in Found Destination. Oh, that's the weird sound. Is that bio gauge? Our fix off. A oh, green screen <laughs> for recording messages to Earth, I suppose. Can I not pick this up? Oh, there we go. 
fade in. Uh, Antarctic outpost engineering area near a window overlooking an icy hillside and clear sky. The team is standing. Team. Greetings from the South Pole. Wilcox. This is Commander Josie Wilcox of the Antarctica Post Z-17. We're here testing solutions for plant growth in the harshest conditions on Earth. Uh-huh. Uh, as you can see, it's penguin mating season. Getting all kinds of visitors to the outposts. Covered in a fresh layer of snow. A uh, new heart stands gesturing behind him at the amazing engineering. And that's our, our text. But as you can see, our oh, oh, as you can see, our is patented Antarctic superconductive coils burrow deep into the poles, causing steady ice flows even during these hot summer months. So this is this. Is, did the same company go to the South Pole and so at one point? Or or is this just something we ma we fabricated for our father? Which mean because it was very hard to talk to him about all of the, maybe like the truth is what I've been saying is wrong it's not antarctica and it's not penguins it's mars and exploration oh bambushka Let's have a look at this upper level here then. It's so dark and creepy. It's not just dark, open, large, creepy and isolated. It's also on Mars. Making it even more creepy. Now this is, is there a plant in the middle? Freshening up the place. Down we go. Laboratory indeed. What do we have here? Is this a thing for my... For my arm? No good. I think there's a reset button somewhere. Uh, let's see. Ah, the red button. Just my luck. I need to find something that can fit in there. Declan, I found the bio gauge, but it won't turn on. Pen. I need to reset it. Uh, find something small and thin. A pen should work. Hmm. You you could get your finger in there. All right, turn on. Yep, there we go. There, got it working. Great. You should be able to reboot the security system now. Just scan the servers with the bio gauge. What did I reset? I still have my info there. The red buttons usually lead to a factory reset, wiping everything. Hmm. Scan the environment with the bio gauge. Oh. And then see technologies, premier security system and software. Connect. The system is malfunctioning. Oh, no, no, oh, oh. I... Okay, let's see. Reboot the system, please. Oh! Fancy! The quake probably knocked the panels out of alignment. This has been an ongoing issue. I'll have to adjust the solar panels manually. Cool! <sighs> A 
<laughs> Look at that. It's just a greenhouse that was mentioned on the floor. All right. The promised greenhouse. Um, manual, manual. Oh, this looks so much cooler now. And, yeah, access as well. A living area, is that what it says? A living area. All right. Invictus. What is Invictus? It's proud to announce unprecedented, unprecedented, uh, fancy word, feat of science and human potential. Welcome to Invictus. Earth's first long-term space station on Mars. The Invictus program will be ready for launch in the very, new f very near future, and we know you have questions. Why private space travel? Oh, that's going to be quite the gold mine and expensive travels. <laughs> we admire and are thankful for the pioneering work by organizations like NASA, but there are limitations to any government institution. Orochi, as a global corporate entity, has resources and expertise that knows no boundaries. We are uniquely situated to take space exploration to its next level. We are eager to show you. <laughs> Why explore the stars? Exploring the space not only furthers humankind's knowledge, it also inspires new technologies that make life for the rest of us on Earth that much better. And also, humankind has to leave Earth at one point before it gets swallowed by the sun or hit by a big asteroid, I suppose. Uh, it's the world's largest multinational corporation, composed of dynamic subsidiaries. Together, we form eight heads facing forward to an innovative horizon. We see limitations as a challenge and the impossible as a dare. We will push boundaries will pursue excellence. We will change the world. Orochi Group, we will. Yes, we can. Manticore Research Group, Paragons of Aerospace, Defense, and Industrial Design, Manticore. We bring you the horizon. Anansi Technologies, leaders in computer hardware and software. Anansi Technology that cares. And there's this. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, that was it, okay. And here. Non-disclosure agreement for me to join, I suppose. Uh, scope of agreement. This agreement acknowledges that certain confidential information, trade secrets, and proprietary data, here and after defined and referred to as confidential information, well, I guess that's more or less interchangeable, of or regarding the company may be discussed between employee and the company, here and after known collectively as the parties. <laughs> so legal and all. The provisions set forth in this agreement define the circumstances in which the employee can and cannot disclose confidential information and include the remedies, penalties, and lawful action the company may take should such information be used or disclosed by employee. Both parties agree that it is in their best interests to protect the company's confidential information, and that the terms of this agreement create a bond of trust and confidentiality between them. In consideration of employees' comments of employment or continued employment with the company, the parties agree as follows. I'm just going to skim through this exclusions. Information shall not be deemed confidential information. Uh, if the information was already publicly known. Okay. So basically we cannot really talk to many about this. What's going on here? Uh, mineral analysis of Martian soil and rocks. Interesting. Employed Manticore X3 spectrometer to analyze Martian rock and soil samples to identify the relative abundance of iron-bearing minerals, including carbonates, phyllosilicates, clays, hydro, hydroxy, 
hydroxyocytes, hydroxyocytes, phosphates, oxide, uh, oxides, silicates, sulfides, sulfates. Measurement of the ferric to ferro ratio, determination of the properties of magnetic phases, including the size distribution of magnetic particles, nanophase versus larger particles in the Martian soil. This data provides information, uh, atmosphere, surface, chemical, physical weathering processes, uh, studying volatile and climates. Point of back. Yeah, understanding the processes in the past and our present that are responsible for oxidizing. What is oxidizing? Hmm. Prototype. Yeah, performed admirably. This is just like a little draft here. Yeah, that. I'm not good at that. <laughs> oh, a specimen from the outside. A Martian rock. It's probably mm. light. Amazing. To be able to touch that with one's own hands. Amazing. This is still locked. Alright, so we... Head out then. I was just getting used to this nice laboratory environment. Research lab. Living area. Oh, okay. I was thinking like as if I was going insane. <laughs> like something looking very different. Okay, so this is under construction. Oh. oh, this is, I, I want to go out. I want to do a, a little a, a Mars walk. Uh, Wait, is this the outside? Well, there has to be an airlock. They can't just... Oh, no, this. Yeah, okay. There has to be an airlock before we are let outside. Can't be that unsafe that you... Something is thrown too close to the door when the door opens and lets in... Well, let's say not air, not oxygen. room Ugh. in here you still have some unfinished business oh oh we cannot Enter from there. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, this shows me where I have to go. Oh, okay, so this is about to send us outside him. <laughs> I thought this went on last. Okay, maybe this first though. Or do we already have a suit on us? Refill air. Please change atmosphere before proceeding. Change atmosphere, let's see. Atmosphere controls, uh... Indoor atmosphere. Whoa. 
Declan, a whole section of the scaffolding here has collapsed. Oh, it was the witch! Or we had a minor quake recently. You know, take your pick, though. So why is every otter in perfect shape and you are completely mangled? 